Hello, my people. If you can hear the phone on hold right now, we are on hold with the airline because tomorrow we are flying <coughs> to Dublin. To We're Ireland. headed to Ireland for our trip of a lifetime. We're so excited. I know. I don't have COVID, but I do have a sinus infection. So that's a little bit of a bummer. You never have very good timing with that. No, but we're so excited. The kids, we've been in Washington for a long time now, and the kids ha are getting to the point where they're a little bit killing each other. So Ben was so smart and brought out our white duck tent yesterday or two days ago now, and they've been sleeping in it. It's like rejuvenated the kids. I actually have not even looked inside. Have you? It looks like a tent, a kid tent set up here. You hold the doors open and I'll give them a little tour. So all the kids slept in here last night and at 3.30 I woke up because we sleep over here in the house. And at 3.30 I woke up and I was like, okay, for sure, for sure someone's crying. Like I just thought, I didn't anticipate them making it through the night, but they all did. They did. They loved it. Yep, so this is the white duck tent. It's the Avalon. We love it, love it, love it. I will have a discount code and a link in the bio if you guys wanna shop it. But we are heading out to Dublin first thing in the morning, hopping on a plane, just us, no kids. So that's why we're here in Washington too, so all the grandparents can watch them. So it's just a Ben and I trip. Hold my that's hand. Right. It's gonna be great. We love each other. We'll take you along with us. We're gonna drink a lot of Guinness, so come along with us. My brother and sister-in-law are actually buying a white duck tent using our discount code because they're going to do a glamping Airbnb back in their corner. So that's so cool. I will see you in Dublin. Here we are in Ireland. Crazy. We have been here for a week so far, but we've been here with Ben's work, so we've been doing tours with them. But if you want to see more of that, go over to our Instagram page and you can see more of those traveled. But now it's just us for two days and we are exploring Southern Ireland and we are at Rock of Cashel right now. Let's head on in. Oh, see how there's another one down there? Maybe the church? four different castles today. This is the Rock of Cashel. A lot of it's deteriorated, but it's really beautiful. It's at the top of a hill here in Cashel, Ireland. We're going to Blarney Castle, I believe, after this, and I think four or five other ones. So stick with us, it's gonna be so cool. We're just like in awe. We don't have much to say, because we're just walking around going, wow. And we'll show you, look at these views. Give me your messy, give me your happy, give me your sad. I may be staying, I may be going, I may be left, I may fall apart. Come to my table, come to my bed, go easy my hunger, easy my head, bring me fire. So like we mentioned before, we're in the Rock of Cashel right now. This was created and built in the 14th century, which is mind boggling. It only cost $13 to get in and it was about an hour and 40 minutes from Dublin airport. So it's super, super close. If you're here, kid friendly, wide open spaces. They also have a tour that you can take, but it's very casual. You can come in and out if you have kids. It's a must see. We're just leaving Rock of Cashel. We walked down to the town and we're looking for like a, a takeaway sandwich for Ben because he's hungry. 
We're just gonna try to find the cafe really fast. Okay, so we found a really cute place for lunch. It's super simple. So here's the castle right here. You can just come out and around by the restrooms and then it's called Granny's Kitchen. It's this cute little green building and I'm pretty sure Granny is actually in the kitchen cooking. I'll show you in a second. Once you get outside of Dublin, we've been, we've been to like what a dozen little towns now. They're all so cute and they're all so old. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes them so cute. You know what it feels like? It feels like that Leavenworth town in Washington, but actually authentic. It's right. not German obviously, but still like it's a themed, I don't know. I, that's a dumb thing to it's say. It's a traditional Irish town. We've, ne or we've never been to Europe, so it's so fun to see. And now we have like this new fire lit under our butts to go travel Europe with the kids and we're making plans. You excited? You excited to spend Get all excited. your money? You excited to spend all your money on travel again? Yeah. <laughs> So we just drove an hour and a half further south to go to the Blarney Castle from Rock of Cashel. Ooh, we get to go up on the top of it. I don't know. I don't know if we paid to go inside. I think we did. did I think we? we did. Yeah. There's three different options. We did the cheapest. This was built in 1210 AD. You walk under the castle here just a little bit. The pathway is coming from the light 10 feet away. And it, this used to be the pathway to like the jail cells. And you walk in 10 feet to the cell or to the stone and it drops like four or five degrees. So I can't imagine if you kept going down these stairs, down, down, down into like where the jail used to be in the 12th century, how cold and wet and grimy it must have been and miserable. Well, you know what they say there are no kingdoms without rulers are you ready for change we could be kings and queens every day on the road we are brave yes even braver than the bravest so let's go We are back in the car. It is raining quite a bit, but it's not cold out, so that's totally fine. It doesn't matter. Ben's paying for parking right now, and we're gonna head over to the Wicklow National Park. If you've seen PS I Love You, it's where they first meet in the park. That was my goal to go there because I love that movie so much. So we're gonna go there hopefully before it gets dark. So we're gonna haul there and we're gonna take some country roads. We've been on the highway the whole time. It's not pretty. There's just high hedges on either side. So even if we don't make it through the Wicklow, that's okay. I just don't wanna drive on the highway anymore. I feel like we're missing the scenery and the feel. So we're gonna weave our way back and we're gonna follow the map hopefully and try not to get lost. Taking the side roads, not the freeway. So far, it's beautiful. <laughs> so far, it's so much better than freeway. We might die. Yeah. And it'll be fun. It'll be an adventure. <laughs> I had to stop the car really fast because look at these views. Look how pretty they are. 
<laughs> Someone just stopped us and they're like, are you enjoying my brother's cows? <laughs> yes, I am. I am enjoying your brother's You're cows. In the middle of the road, honey. So pretty, okay, okay, I'm getting in the car. Do you see the view though? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> we just got run over because we're in the middle of the road. That wasn't your fault, you are driving. So pretty. I've made Ben stop like 15 times now. Okay, you can keep going, you can keep going. You're making me so nervous. I'm like, stop the car! <laughs> but it, it, it's that pretty. Thank you. There are a lot of toll roads here in Ireland, and they're like $3 a toll, but they're quick and easy like that. You just drive up, do the tap feature on your card, and you're free to go. It's been a long drive, but it's been a good drive. Don't you think? Yeah. We we finally got off of the main highway and drove a bunch of like little farm town kind of roads. Yeah, those are really cool and scary. Almost died a couple times. Yeah, Ben was like running me into the bushes. But we are getting back to the hotel and then we're meeting some of Ben's work colleagues at the oldest bar in Dublin. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you now and I'll see you in the morning when we're heading to Cliffs of Moor. All right, we made it to the Cliffs of Moor and the, the sun came out. It's been raining for us all morning on the way here. So we we're kind of nervous about it. The sun came out and it, it is stunning. Check this out. here on a long weekend. This is our only day to come, so it was unavoidable since we were working all this week, but it's very crowded. And we waited in line to park for an hour and a half. <laughs> so if you cannot come on a holiday weekend, come, or come very early in the morning. We came all the way from Dublin this morning and we had rental car issues, so it took us a long time to get here. What should have been three hours took us around five and a half, plus the parking. So we have to take off, we have to leave quickly, we don't have time to hike, and it's like, this is like a quick break, but it's usually you're walking like this, being herded into like this small area, so. Come in the off season, or come very early in the morning, or probably right before closing. That would be my advice to you, but it is gorgeous. But I don't like crowds, so we're leaving. Okay, let's have a discussion. Cliffs of Moher, beautiful. Stunning, don't regret it. The crowds, to be fair, we're a bank holiday, so it's very crowded. The crowds were atrocious. I was, it was too much. He I likes think, crowds, and he, he even thought it was too much. Well, the, the actual cliffs weren't like totally terrible. But the parking, like just to get in there, it took us an hour and a half to get into the parking lot, and then the parking lot was full. So we had to sit there and wait with everybody else until Ooh, somebody left. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Okay, wait, we're turning around. We're not gonna talk about it anymore. <laughs> Don't do it on a holiday, it is not worth it. Our rental car tire is making weird noises. But besides that, look at this view. So pretty. So pretty. This car likes to scream at us for no reason, but maybe the reason is because I'm sitting on the window on a random road in Ireland, but we had to stop really fast because I wanted to show you Castle. If 
you go from the Cliffs of Moher up to um, Galloway, there is like a little lane you can take all the way along the ocean, and that's where we're at. And we just ran across this cute little castle. So we are driving up to Ashford Castle right now and it's a five-star hotel right outside of Galway and apparently it's beautiful. Let's see. It's an old castle turned into a hotel. I guess you used to be able to walk around it. That's what TripAdvisor had said, but now you're not allowed to. So now we're just coming in to see it and then tur turning around basically is what they told too. us. That's beautiful. We couldn't get into Ashford Castle, but if you drive through, you say you want to go to the cafe, they'll let you in, you can see the outside. And here is some footage of that right here. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars Obviously so beautiful. It's 750 a night, so it's not terrible for what it is. I'd probably say it's worth it if that's in your budget. But right, if you walk, if you drive through the Ashford Castle and all the way through to the exit, you come into this really adorable little town. And there's a castle that you can walk through with the history of it. It's an abbey. Probably it was probably associated with the castle back in the day, but I'll low in a minute when I read the instruction. Okay, so I was wrong. This actually is not affiliated with the castle, but this was built in the first century, but it burnt down three times and was rebuilt. And so this is from the 13th century and war and things probably going towards the castle, I'm guessing, caused people to burn it down. But this is the 13th century remains. So let's check it out. So far, we've seen a lot of graves. Here's one right here. Here's one right there. This must have been the top floor. Very, very cool. So there is an old monk's fishing house right here. It's said that they had a hole in the bottom and there's a place for an old fireplace so they fish in there in the cold winters. And then there was a bell strung to the monastery so whenever they caught a fish they could ring the bell and the cook knew that there was fresh fish for dinner. There's just so much history around here, it's incredible. We didn't even know that this was here and we just ran into a 13th century uh, monastery. So next we're gonna drive uh, about 30 minutes down the road to a place called Moore Hall and it's apparently another old castle that's been abandoned. And we're gonna go check that out. Same day, different shirt, we just changed. But we are just at, what was the town called? Kong. We were just in Kong, which is the town outside of that Ashford Castle. We have driven through like a hundred little towns since we've been here. It was the cutest one by far. So if you come to Ireland, Kong, so cute and little, adorable. Let's fly. We are here in Moore Hall. It is about 23 minutes away from Ashford Castle. It was built in 1700s. And I think it, like the guy that built it passed away just years after he built it, but it's a beautiful area. It's right on a lake. Let's go check it out. Oh, and it's like a state park. You can pull in, there's no charge, and you can check it out whenever. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now It is so beautiful Let's get 100% worth a stop 
if you're in Ireland, more hall. Because there's no one here, there's not tour guides, there's not crowds, where like every other place we've been to so far, it's been so crowded and full. We're the only ones here. Besides that one guy singing to himself as he walks. <laughs> Lighting is not great. Oh, there it goes. We are heading back to the Conrad Hotel in Dublin. We have driven like six hours today. Got a few more to go. Two and a half, two hours and 49 minutes to go. We have not had lunch and we have not had breakfast and it is We seven, did have breakfast. Well, we had breakfast. We have not had dinner and it's 7.16. We did not have lunch. Well, we had those- We had <laughs> half of a gas station sandwich. That was disgusting. It was so bad. <laughs> So we're going to hopefully find some dinner, but if we don't see you again, thanks for following along our Ireland adventures. The next video, we, I, I'm not even going to say anything. We'll see how we pick up, but we have to go to Washington and pick up our kids and then drive back to Texas. We have a trek. Yeah. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. And if you want to see more Ireland and more, more, <coughs> and more fine details, you follow us over on Instagram. Here is the link right here. And if you are interested at all, you can find the code to our tent that we still have to take down in Washington. The kids have been sleeping in it this whole time. We've been gone with their cousins and it is a white duck tent. It's the Avalon. Here's the discount code. There is more information in the description. The kids, we've promised the kids that we'd camp in Texas as well. So we have to set it up when we get back home before school starts. Mm -hmm. It's been a summer, but it's been a great summer. It has been an epic summer. It has been. I can tell I'm out of shape. My arms are getting weak. <laughs> okay, bye.